So what you see here is a sagittal or side view of an MRI of an adult human. The cerebrospinal fluid is colored in red. From this image, you can see how it bathes the entire outside of the brain, as well as the spaces inside and the entire outside of the spinal cord. Our central nervous system is floating in and being bathed by CSF. Interestingly, the spinal cord ends at about lumbar vertebra two, but the CSF goes all the way down into the sacrum. So it's important to know that the human central nervous system is remarkably suspended in a column of fluid. While the brain's actual mass ranges from 1400 to 1500 grams, its effective weight when immersed in cerebrospinal fluid is significantly reduced to around 25 to 50 grams. This illustrates that the entire central nervous system essentially floats within this fluid. There exists a central column of fluid aligned with their body's midline structure, providing this unique suspension and support. So where does this fluid come from? Well, that little black spot in the middle of that image is you. This was you as an embryo. You can see above that the amniotic fluid. Below that, you can see the yolk sac. And all around it, you can see the chorionic fluid. Look at how you are essentially developing surrounded by fluid, enclosed in fluid, and totally supported by fluid. You are organized and created with fluid.